there is something new in Dubai. So I think Dubai will be the, the uh, business hub of, of Asia and the Middle East. And it will be, I think, the capital of uh, uh, trans uh, public transport in the area because of the strong infrastructure. As UITP, we're trying to promote public transport on a worldwide basis. We start from Europe, which is historically the place where things started with public transport. And we had the feeling uh, 10 years ago about, or eight years ago, that uh, the Middle East and North Africa region, MENA, would was ready to invest into public transport because traffic issues and congestion problems were starting, especially in Dubai. Metro is the most sophisticated uh, technology in the world. It's driverless system. It's the largest uh, line of metro system. Ismail uh, Blushi, Mudir al Khidma Sharkat al Ghalir al Sularis. We have some of our which are from Poland. We have some of the products that are used in the same way, which is the Tromino, and six types of products that are used in the same way. We are showing here the UITP that Alstom is truly a multi specialist, which means that we can deliver any system as part of the transport system. And we are showing also that we are a multi geographic actor in the railway business. First of all, one of these is this operating uh, harsh climatic conditions. We have to equip all our buses with a very reinforced uh, air conditioning system that will maintain the cool and pleasant temperature inside. If you try to move around Dubai, you'll discover very quickly the cost of mobility in Dubai. And it's not cost in terms of money, but it's cost in terms of time and effort. If we're going to have an economy and a society where people can move around freely, they cannot all do that at the same time inside, inside a car. So we have to come up with better, innovative solutions to mobility. Number one is the climate change, which is the environment. Number two is the uh, resources, the natural resources, the fuel that we have now, we are spinning. We are taking a lot of the fuel from the ground and putting it in our private cars, okay? This fuel, after a certain period of time, it will go down. There is nothing available for the future generation. So the idea of to make this Congress here is to publicize and market for public transit. Public transit consumes less energy. This machine can read the barcode and IC card. So from now, I will show the barcode case. For example, so we are trying to promote uh, other business opportunities in uh, UAE and other Middle East country. What's so different this time in Dubai that due to the location we could really attract new customers, customers from countries that never participated in UTP before. Restraints for wheelchairs and passengers on buses, coaches, trains and even ships. As you may know, Siemens is one of the biggest players in the transportation field worldwide, on one hand. On the uh, other hand, Siemens is uh, a very strong uh, local player. We are installed since years in, in Dubai. We are making business with RTA already on the ITS side. And uh, this UITP was a unique uh, opportunity for us to show our products, which we would like to see implemented in the region.
we present here because this area is a very important area with a lot of potential. Uh, we had traditional historical customers and want to get back and give a strong message to customers that we're here and we're here to develop our activity. And we had tremendous contacts, so it's a great place to be. We believe that this is a very big uh, exhibition uh, for the Middle East. We believe that it's very important to meet with the end customers and the people interested with our engines. So we are here for two reasons mainly. First of all, because it's a big event. UITP, it's a great organization, a very important organization, so this is the first reason. The second reason, it is because Alcatel Lucent invests a lot in this transportation market, and it is a very important business for Alcatel Lucent, so this is why we are here. Well, it affects it in two ways. Uh, obviously, in Christchurch itself, where the infrastructure has been devastated, uh, roads um, uh, cracked and uplifted, um, uh, public transport has been affected, um, the, um, uh, the bus exchange uh, has, been, has collapsed, but also nationally because we have to fund the recovery, we have to fund public transport that has to come from taxes, so there is a, a burden on the economy which is already suffering from the global uh, financial crisis, this is an ex extra crisis uh, that we're having to deal with. We achieved uh, the major project in the world, such as public transportation, buses, metros, trams, and uh, road, tunnels, bridges, uh, highways, and uh, marine transportation. 